Hi, today we're gonna to be working on the basics of the spinal mobility. So really opening up the back. So you're gonna roll down, <clears throat> put your feet up on a chair or a couch. And let's talk through these cues. Reach your shoulder blades past your hips, pressing the palms down, widen the collarbone, sternum in the floor. Find your neutral pelvic placement, so that's the lower back is slightly off the mat, and we're just going to imprint and neutral. So exhale, tilt your pelvis so that your pubic bone tilts toward the ceiling and your lower back presses into the mat firmly. On your exhale, imprint that lower back into the floor. It should feel like you're stretching the lower back here. Then inhale, come back to neutral, getting that tailbone and you'll feel the sacrum firmly in the floor. And then you exhale and you tilt again sending that pubic bone towards your face, and inhale back to neutral. Make a diamond here with your fingertips. Put them so that your fingertips are right on the pubic bone and your hands are on the hip bones. If you put your hands here on your pelvis like this, you should be able to see your fingertips, and when you come back down, they'll be level to the floor. Exhale, imprint. Inhale, neutral. Glute hamstring connection. That means we want to get the glutes and the hamstrings engaged. We're going to be pressing the heels down on the chair so that somebody wouldn't be able to pull them off the chair if they tried. Okay, from here, grip those hips, squeeze all the muscles around the hip joint and the booty, and then relax the grip, but keep the glute hamstring connection. Grip again, squeeze, 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 and relax except for the glute hamstring connection. And grip all of these guys, especially in the front, and relax them, keeping the back of the legs working, and grip, and relax the front. Good, from here, we're gonna exhale, tilt the pelvis, <sighs> opening up that lower back, finding the imprint again. Should feel like your lower back stretching. You'll feel the hamstrings working by pressing the heels down on that chair to help you tilt. Hold it here. One more breath. Inhale. Pressing those heels down, relaxing in the front of the hips here. And exhale, reinforce that imprint. We're going to roll up one vertebrae at a time. That's the spinal mobility. It should feel like your spine is separating, pulling, being pulled apart from each other here. You're just gonna roll up to where your belly button would still hit the floor. Try not to come all the way up here. Okay, just the belly button is still pressing in the mat. And take a deep inhale here. Exhale, push the belly button into the spine even more and reinforce. Inhale, pressing your heels down onto the chair again. And exhale, reinforce. From here, take your hands, put them on your hips. Think of pulling or pushing your hips towards the chair a little more. So you're creating extra space in the waist here. Okay, right where your thigh and your hip meet. Take it there, push away, and then deepen that scoop a little more. Round out a tiny bit more. And then from here, roll down. Feel each vertebrae touch before the next one can arrive all the way to, tail, to your tailbone. From here, take a deep inhale. Exhale, imprint first without gripping, zipping up the pants, and roll up two or three more to that belly button spot. Roll back down one at a time. We want to take this really slowly so you can actually tell the difference between the vertebrae. And roll back down two more. Exhale, imprint. Really get the lower back down first. Scoop those abs. Try not to pooch the belly out. And inhale, roll it down. Last time, you should feel those hamstrings on fire. If they're not, push the heels down a little more and scoop those abs. Shoulders are relaxed. Head is relaxed. Inhale, rolling down. Now we're going to roll up to this T point, this thoracic point, right in the middle of the spine. It's kind of, it's right where the sternum would meet the spine here, and you're gonna roll up, exhale, imprint first, rolling up to the belly button second, 
Roll it up all the way to where the sternum still hits the floor. So the sternum is still pushing in the floor. Everything below is rounded. The glutes on the sides are relaxed, but on the back are engaged. Inhale here, scoop those abs. Exhale, push one down at a time from your belly to your spine, and then unravel. Again, your hamstrings should feel on fire by now. Exhale, imprint, roll it up, push the heels down to scoop the abs in, stretch the back out, put your hands right at the hip there, and push the pelvis away. Someone's trying to pull your pelvis toward the chair, and roll it back down two more. Exhale, imprint, press the palms onto the floor to help you out, reach the shoulder blades towards your hips, zip up the pants, and inhale, roll it down. Make sure one goes down before the next. Last time, exhale, imprint, rolling up. Go ahead and curl up a little bit to look at your belly here. Zip up the pants. Make sure your hips are squared off. Nothing's going up or down. Lay back down. Shoulders are wide and going down towards your hips. Take a deep inhale here. Zip up the pants. Try not to pooch. Mm -hmm. And exhale, push and massage your spine into the floor one vertebrae at a time. There's spinal mobility for you.